Okay, so I wanted to do a quick video to make sure that you knew how to get InDesign or Adobe fonts into your InDesign document. So when you're working with InDesign, um, you're gonna wanna open up a new document and put whatever words you want to experiment with, and I spelled that wrong. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. And so when you come over here, you're gonna see your system fonts in this fonts um, menu here. And I have a lot more than you might normally have because I've installed a lot of fonts. If you go to the find more, this is where you're going to find a lot of your Adobe fonts that you've already installed. So all of these I've already installed at one point or another. So if you've already done those, then you can use those. But the point of this particular assignment, this discussion assignment, is to have you go to fonts.adobe.com and search through the actual fonts with varying um, search queries. So let me show you that. I'll go to browse all fonts. And when you get here, you'll be able to see a bunch of different um, filters that you can work with over here. So to get this font double base, what I did was click on funky and then I changed. I knew I wanted the weight to be a really thick font and that narrows down some of the fonts that are available. And then I liked the the um, double base font. So when I clicked on it, it ended up showing me this page where you can see all the different weights and like the various things you can test it out here. But in order to add the family, so right now um, I know I don't have, let's do Yink, okay? It's just one font, whereas Double Base had, um, actually it's one font and it doesn't tell you if it has different weights. But I'm just gonna choose Add Family. Now when you're in here, if you haven't logged into Adobe, it will have you log into Adobe after you click this. But because I'm already logged into Adobe and this Adobe program is signed into that account as well, then when I open that, it's going, I'm gonna click OK, and somewhere on your computer, it's going to, wherever your Creative Cloud is, it's going to be installing those fonts for you. Oops, sorry. And it should bring up like a little thing that says um, these fonts are available. And I'm not seeing that happen. So just in case, I'm gonna try this nudge wink and choose add family. And fonts added to Adobe apps. You can manage it by opening the cloud app. And yeah, usually it just pops up in a little window right here. So I don't know why it's not doing that. But if I come over here now, I can come and search for that font. So let's search for Yink. There we go. So now I can click and use that font. And then in the discussion post is where you're gonna tell me what filters you use to find that. You're also gonna want the URL for it. So if I click on Yink, I can right click and copy that um, uh, URL. And then you just want to, what, however you're exper experimenting, go ahead and experiment with color, with size, whatever you want to experiment with. And then you can just take a screenshot and you'll have to search for how to take a screenshot on your computer if you don't know how. So I'm on a Mac so I can just do Shift Command 4 and I can take a screenshot. Just a little tip in Adobe InDesign, if you don't wanna see all of these lines, these borders, this margin border, you can hit the W key on your keyboard and it'll hide it. And then you can take a screenshot and there you go. So then that screenshot needs to be posted in the discussion. So in the discussion, I actually already have this example post where I showed the double base. And I just wanted to show you that when you create a new thread, what you wanna do is Yink has a very curvy look. So you wanna have the name of the font and a little bit of a preview about what's unique about it. And you're gonna answer all of these questions. Don't make it too long because you know you can just get right to the point with this. But you do wanna answer all those questions and when you're ready, you wanna put the font URL. So there, and this is the double base. I should have copied that other font URL. And then you wanna post the picture. So you're gonna click this little picture icon and you're gonna look for it on your computer. So you can drop it here or I know um, that, let's see this screenshot was on my desktop, so I can click add. And you always wanna give it alt text saying, example of ink font. Click okay. And it might be too big, so I'm gonna resize it so it doesn't overwhelm uh, the screen. And there we go. So then it's just a matter of answering all of that. 